Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. Welcome to my studio. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Or should I say, the adventures of a vintage paper girl as written by Lavender Blue Mama. She wrote the most adorable comment to me. I absolutely loved it. My husband and I got a good giggle. Well, he doesn't giggle, but anyway, we both got a good laugh. And she said... Um, I love it. It was the ultimate paper crafters cliff hanger. Ooh, say that fast. The adventures of the vintage paper girl. What kind of butterflies could I use? If I do, if I do that, end of scene, audience says, no, aw, oh, man. I loved it. She's right. It's perfectly imperfect, and that's me. As you know, in my last um, wonderful show and share <laughs> on Wednesday, my camera just shut off all of a sudden. And oh my gosh, it was a day where everything we did did not do well. My daughter was having the same issue. We were just felt cursed in our videos. We're like, wow, should we just not do videos? Oh man, I don't know. Anyway, it happens to all of us and we got a good laugh at it. Um, so I decided to go ahead and post the show and share part. And that will be the beginning of the cliffhanger and what happens to these wonderful little pretty pocket hang page hangers. So these are pretty pocket page hangers and it shut off before I could, could show you. I didn't know that though. I kept on filming for a full hour and what I had done with these and then boom, you know, I look up and I, something told me something wasn't right and sure enough, it wasn't. So anyway, adventures of the... Vintage Paper Girl for sure. So having quite a few adventures lately. <laughs> so anyway, here we are today to work on these pretty pockets. They are a page hanger. They go over the top of a, a, a page on your journal like this. And you'll see it on both sides of your um, page. You know, you'll see this and then you'll flip it over and you'll see that. So we'll probably decorate at least the front and uh, maybe we'll do the back too. So I thought that's what we could do today. Uh, before I get going, I want to welcome you all and say thank you to each and every one of you who comments on my videos. Without you, there just really wouldn't be a good reason to do this. So thank you, thank you, ladies. And welcome to all my new subscribers. Um, I'm so happy to have you here and we're excited to see our channel grow. Um, before I get going, I thought I'd share a little sunshine with you. This is a gorgeous, beautiful yellow daisies my husband bought me for the 1st of May, for May Day to celebrate the first day and they're in my studio here and they are doing wonderful they love it in here they're just going crazy of course you know that's california we get our flowers early before everyone else and then for mother's day i gotta show them off they're starting to die already a little bit but these gorgeous roses oh isn't that beautiful um, I wish I could get this in here because if I tip it, I'm going to end up with water on my project. But it says, a mother loves with all her heart. Beautiful vase. So, thought I'd share a little sunshine and flowers with you folks that are still not getting your spring yet. I'm so sorry. And some of you are in dead summer, I think, if you're, or coming out of summer, maybe if you're in Australia. I'm not sure what your weather is, but... Anyway, we all have something different. I live in central coast of California, meaning I'm about 30 minutes from the beach or 45 minutes to an hour from Monterey. So we live close to Monterey and Carmel, and we're also close to Santa Cruz. We're two hours from San Francisco, an hour from the big city of San Jose, which is Silicon Valley. I live in a small rural, used to be farming cattle country, and hey, and of course, you know, now everyone from San Jose is descending on us. We're becoming a bedroom community and they're building all around us and building homes everywhere and we're growing faster than we should be. So we're kind of having some issues here. Like everywhere else, we're having terrible growing pains. So that's us. But I get uh, wonderful California weather 99.9% uh, .9 of the time. We do live at the coast, which means we get the fog. So this morning it was foggy and cool. It will get warm this afternoon. It'll probably be Oh, somewhere between 70 and 80. And then the fog will come in tonight and cool us down. It's kind of hard on the sinuses and the joints if you have arthritis, which I do. But other than that, um, so we've done a little chat. Let's move on to our project and see if I can actually complete it this time on camera. Now, I may periodically stand up and check like everyone else does because I really don't want to go through that again. <laughs> You use a lot of time and energy and you're making things and then bam, it's just gone. Ugh, 
it's such a bummer. But it happens to everybody. I'm not whining about it. I'm actually laughing about it. It's like the blooper. I told my husband we should probably do a blooper reel. Gosh, it's hilarious. So... <laughs> Uh, dumb and dumber here. No, we're not dumb, but we are, we, we, we're we learning. You know, there's like a learning curve to everything. So <clears throat> life, right? Life. All righty. Let's, um, we started these yesterday and I'm going to kind of recap just a little bit for those of you who didn't see it. I started with, um, you know, just a regular piece of copy paper, not copy, well, uh, digital, sorry, a digital trying to figure out where this was. It's kind of like this. Okay, it was like this or something like this. Anyway, I cut it in half, cut it in half, folded it in half. Um, I clipped the corners because I wanted them round. And then I added a little window. Um, and I just used my paper punch. Um, excuse my arm for a split second. Oh, I'm not quite tall enough to get past this table. I just used my little reflections, one and a half inch. I could have used a smaller one and should have. It was a bit big for this. I should have just used my one inch punch. But I, I was like vacillating back and forth, which you did not see because it all disappeared. So I I'm telling on myself. <laughs> And then um, I added a little pocket on the inside right here. Um, I'm going to, there we go. I'm just, just trying to grab something to stick in there, but I don't really have anything very big. So anyway, um, that's what goes there. So I added a little pocket on the inside of each of these, just like this. Uh, like that. Okay, that one's a little wider. So I chose different lengths. All right. Now from here, uh, bumble fingers, lordy, let's see if I can get it together today. <laughs> Another sleepless night. Oh my gosh, you guys, I suffer from insomnia, something terrible. I know a bunch of you do based on Gail's videos. Uh, I noticed that one night she had one post at midnight. She, in fact, she had a couple because YouTube does its crazy things to us. So she posted in the middle of the night and everyone loved it and they were watching it. So I do know there's a bunch of us up. So you're all in good company if you're up at night. You are not alone, I'm with ya. That's usually when I watch all my videos and get my ideas and trying to figure out what I wanna make. <clears throat> so excuse me for a second, ladies. My throat is scratchy. Love these allergies. Um. Okay, so. The next thing we're gonna do is, I got a, oh, tell me it's here. I brought along, hmm, yeah, I was supposed to have brought along. Okay, oh, there it is, a piece of Ellen. And what we're going to do is we're going to back this lovely little um, opening here with a piece of Ellen. Being attacked by Vellum. Vellum on the loose, catch it. Okay, because what we want is kind of this pretty little um, frosty look behind it. I, I looked at doing, oh, you know, cellophane or, you know, acetate, but I but but it's not really supposed to show. So we're, we're just going to put a little square. I got to figure out how big I want my little square. Let me see. How big do I want this? If this is an inch and a half, I want it to be... I'm going to say about two inches square, I think is what I'm going to want. So what I'm going to do, I don't feel like pulling out my, well, I guess I better pull out my, ah, my, um, oh, okay. I'm going to jump around a little here. Sorry, I'm not focused yet. Squirrel. Um, I show, well, there's a video coming out, I believe next week, that is my uh, thrift store haul that I did with my daughter for Mother's Day. And in that haul, I bought some of these ribbons and I bought them specifically to use um, as ruffles. And because these are floral ribbons, this is a paper ribbon and it's textured. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Can you see it? It's textured. And then this one's a sateen and it's got a lot of shimmer. Okay. So I bought those to make ruffles. So yesterday I sat down, I was having, you know, a day and I thought I'm just going to sew. So I made myself some beautiful, long, long ruffles with this ribbon. Um, the reason I'm showing this ribbon is so I can put it away. It's driving me crazy. Um, 
And as you can see here, it's a pretty good size ruffle. But when I laid it down, I noticed these would be awesome on top of each other. Oh, this is uh, journal covers or down the side of a page. Uh, this one might be a big, big for that, but you never know. It depends on the size of your journal. Some journals are big. Then I picked this up for 50 cents, which this is usually two or three dollars. So I felt like that was a good deal. It's brand new, never been used. But look at this. Oh, is that yummy? For those of you who are into your shabby chic, pink, oh, isn't that gorgeous? So I think I'm going to end up making some ruffles using these three things together. So this is an Offray ribbon, which is one of the more expensive ribbons on the market. I love that it's brand new, never been used. And I, because usually when you go to a thrift store, you know, things are open. Like both of these were already open and cut off of, and I didn't care. I mean, I only paid, what did I pay? 50 cents? I don't know. Something cheap. Dollar, dollar each, you know. So, and this one was only 50 cents. So, I feel like I, I got a really good deal on those. And to make all, you know, a bunch of ribbon. And this just hangs on my ribbon and lace boards, which I will have to take a picture of and show you guys where how I hang all my ribbons and my ruffles and my pearls and stuff like that. So, um, I'm going to move those to the side. I want to share those with you. <clears throat> As you know, I like to do a little share things I'm making and give you some ideas, you know, and how you could do that. And here I am with my chair again. And I actually do show this chair I sit in in Monday's video. So be sure you watch that so you can see what it is I'm always falling off of. <laughs> so what we're going to do, this thing doesn't cut, you know, on a long piece. So of course I got to do it this way, which is fine. I'm going to stick my head in here. Pardon me. I just did my hair, so I'm not too worried about it. I actually went back to my um, pre-COVID hair color. My hair is brown normally with highlights. And during COVID, I won't tell you what color it went. <laughs> and then uh, my hairdresser quit. She came back once. And then when they closed our salons a second time, she quit. She said, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. So I had to get a new hairdresser. Well, my new hairdresser and I are still having a little communication problem on hair color. So I ended up with kind of a brassy blonde, um, I don't know what color it was, but not what I wanted. So finally, I think this time I got my, my brown with my highlights in it back, which I'm thrilled. I, I mean, I'm prematurely gray. I, I have been since I was 16, but I'm not ready to be gray. So... Like I said, I'm really young at heart. And I'm like, no, no, no gray for me. Not happening. So, all right, we got our squares. I love this paper cutter, guys. Look at it. It cut through that vellum. So easy. It cuts through plastic, cuts through everything. It's good and sharp. I love, love, love it. It's lightweight. I can pick it up with one hand, which is great when you're in the, you know, making a video. All right, we've got these little pieces. So, now, um... I'm just thinking here. I think I'm going to put this on next. And then I want to hide that because there's going to be a little pocket here. Well, not a little, a good size pocket. And I don't, and the inside of the pocket will be printed. So I think it's okay. I'm worried about sliding things in. You know what I mean? So I think I'm gonna, I got an idea. Let's see. I have all these pieces that were the cutouts from these. And what I wanna do, I saw Angela Kerr make these on her channel. And so I would like to um, do something like what she did. Put that on the vellum on the back and then put the pocket over it. Yeah, because see, you could see that through. I don't know, can you see that? See it through the film? All right, let's, 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 let's. Well, we're just going to play. Whatever happens, happens. You know, everybody does it different. And I don't want to copy her directly. But I kind of am on these, but not. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to do my own thing too. So I'm going to put a little line. This, this art glitter glue, for those of you who don't know, does dry clear. It works on vellum and plastic beautifully. I found it to even work on glassine bags 99.9% .9 of the time. There, Occasionally, you know, there's that time where you're kind of like, mm, 
but I'm going to put it right to the very outside edge. I'm going to get it up here for you guys so you can see. I noticed lately I've been working off my mat here. I apologize. I'm having a really hard time adjusting to the table, but I'll get there, you know. I need to sit closer to the table, and maybe I won't, I'll, I won't, I can see. I'm having trouble visually seeing, so that's the problem. My glasses don't like this, but if I get up here, it's perfect, but if I go way too far out, I still don't like them, so. All right, so we got that. Then I'm going to, what one did I pick out? Oh, I picked this one out. <clears throat> Would I like that on any other one better? Oh, it's busy over there. I don't think we'll do that. I think we'll do the lighter ones over on these. So now I'm going to just barely put that around. Well, I don't want to glue it on that. I think what I'll do is I'll glue it onto the back side of the piece of paper. That's what I'll do. Um, which I don't have cut yet. Of course not. I have some scraps here that I think I want to use for my pocket. Let's make that pocket... <clears throat> oh, I'm cover that up. Let's make that pocket like an inch and a half. Let me, I need to see where that is on here. Right there. All right. Get that inch and a half. Come on now. Okay. I think I like, let's see, is that big enough? Oh, no, that's not going to work. I said that was two inches, so this pocket's going to have to be two inches deep. Oops. All right, let's try that again. Sorry about that. Um, I'm snuffling today. Going to call me snuffle up, I guess. Let's go a little over the two. Let's go two and a two and a tick, which is like two and a quarter, I think. I'm having a hard time reading these right here. Let's go two and a quarter. Oh, that's a pretty little bit to use, isn't it? All right, let's try this. I'm not going to set that very far because I know I'm not done with it. Why I keep putting it away, silly girl? This will give us a nice size pocket up this side. I'm not going to go, um, I'm only going to go part way up this side, I think. I guess I could make that whole thing pocket, right? I'm creating here. That's exactly what I'm doing. So you're watching me in full progress. So what would that be? Let's see if I can find that little dot. There's a little dot. My little friend. Let's make it mm, five and a quarter. Let's try that. I hate measuring. Hate it, hate it, hate it, but I'm doing it. Okay. So what I'll do with this, though, to make it not be so tight up in there, um, I will pull out my little... Um, my corner punch which I talked about this in the last video that I lost. Um, it is Creative Memories. Uh, I do have the chomper, but I, I have a difficult time with the chomper. So if I'm just going through a couple layers, I'll use this. If I'm going to go heavy layers, then I'll pull that out. But I like this. And then um, I'm going to need my little punch. So we want a little thumb hole. I'm just going to barely tip it. I don't want it in too deep. And then we're going to need, oh, you know what we need, right? Um, I don't think I want to do it in pink. Oops, nope, not pink. I want that. <clears throat> Let me move. I notice I'm crowding myself here. I'm going to move. There we go. There we are. Getting crazy with all this stuff on top of me. All right. I'm a lot like Gail. I don't, I don't like that. I, I want, I want room to work. I need room to work, room to create. Okay. So let's get some, some pretty. Let's add a little dimension. I hope you're all doing very well and you're healthy, happy, and safe and doing wonderfully and crafting today maybe or crafting along with me get out your goodies and let's get busy you'll get so many things made if you craft with me when i actually do that um <laughs> and let's all right so what i want to do oh can i do it how good am i am i good enough yes all right patting myself on the back sorry um and then i moved it Oh, I know, silly girl. 
we'll put it there. We'll put glue on it. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Just because I want to show you off. I don't want to glue there. I don't want to glue it on there. My finger's in the way. Uh, uh, okay. I got to hold it down, though. I can do this. Oh, gosh. Okay. Now, carefully, and I do mean carefully, let's line up our corner over here. Okay, this is tricky, ladies. I won't... If I flinch, which I did just lightly, darn it. Well, it's on there. <laughs> See? Okay. So the goal is when I put it back on to line it up over the hole. I did it. Okay, now I got to put the, actually put the pocket on. Man, this is not easy. What was I thinking? I saw Angela do something like this. I don't know if this is exactly how she did it, but I mean, she makes it look so doggone easy. I'm telling you, this is not a tutorial. This is me just figuring out how to make something pretty that I really liked for my journals. Eek. Well, that was not a straight line, but it's hard to do it when I can barely see. All right, pocket. Okay, my... Oh, goodness. Um, I was holding my breath there. Okay, so I want to make sure it's open. <clears throat> Alrighty. So when you open that, you've got this lovely little pocket that you could stick a, another journaling card or tag in. You have this little pocket down here. And I really don't think there's much else that we need to do. I don't know if I'm going to decorate the inside of these. I mean, maybe a word. I don't know. What do I have? Maybe a little butterfly or something. I'm in the mood for butterflies today. What's my outside look like? It could pretty much take any old little butterfly, couldn't it? Well, the reason for this darling little pocket right here is we are going to put a butterfly there. And... Oh, pretty right there. We kind of want it to just sit a little bit off the circle. That's why I said a smaller circle would work, you know, but we want to put, and this one's already inked and every, well, pretty much already inked. I mean, there was a little white spot here that was bugging me. So we might as well just go all the way around. Um, put that over there. There's too much stuff on that one side. Yikes. This paper cutter's bugging me. I'm, no, I'm not done with it. Never mind. All right, so we'll put our little butterfly there. Then we're going to put a pocket here and decorate. And I think we're going to call it good. Let's see. Let's see. See how many of these we can get done. If I can get stop chatting so much. I love these little butterflies. This particular set, these, these right here are Angela, um, Kurt, and then these are Jewel Design. I think, I think those are the only, um, yeah, I think just those two are theirs. All right, so we have that. Um, oh, guess what? We know we're going to need pearls, right? Because do I ever do anything without pearls or bling? I'm trying to do that left-handed while I was looking for my pearls on my wall. I haven't left you. I'm over here pulling these down off my little bulletin board, which I said I'll have to get a picture of and show you in one of my videos. I also have some sparkle. You know what? Maybe instead of pearls on this one, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use pretties. I'm gonna use some sparkle. I think this is the <clears throat> the last of my sparkly bits because um, during the pandemic I went through all of it. And when I went to Michael's, they had like nothing. This is that's usually where I buy this. I had an option to order it online in the very beginning of the pandemic, or not the beginning, but recently, and I didn't do it. Now I'm kicking myself because I just didn't have any in the store. I don't know what's going on over there. They've really cut back on all their stuff. I mean, all of it. They like <sighs> stickers and butter, you know, jewels. And they've gone heavy into the um, Cricut scene. I, I do own a Cricut. You know what? That's going to be too many. I was thinking five, but it's going to have to be three, I think. Not as long as I thought. There we go. Oh, pretty. Okay. Um, I do own a Cricut. My husband bought me one for Christmas two years ago, and I have never even opened it. It's still sealed. 
um, uh, the Cricut itself. I did take it out of the box, put it on the shelf, and that's where it sat because it's heavily... Um, got to do a lot of computer work with it, and I am not great on the computer. I just am a person who wants to print and go, so I don't know. My, maybe one day my daughter and I will tackle it. We feel like we could use it for a lot of things, but I just hate technology, so I know we need it, and it allows me to do this, but I am just not a fan, so... Now I want pockets on the front. Both front and back are going to have a pocket. That's why it's called Pretty Pockets. And an inch and a half is really all you need. So I think this is the, was this the inch and a half? Yep. So I think that's all you really need. I could do this pretty little. This is so pretty. I could use that. I hate to cover all these pretty things up. I'm kind of happy with it the way it is. I'm actually going to lift this pocket up a little bit. Um... I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna fussy cut this. Ugh, it's lunchtime, ladies. I don't know why I always start a video around 11 or so. Had a slow start this morning because it is uh, the day I'm printing this. I'm printing this, <laughs> filming this is when our gardeners come. And we had a whole troop of them this morning. So. I had to wait to make my video. So I got a late start and now my tummy's telling me it wants lunch and I can hear my kitties at the door. So as I told them, you will wait for mama to finish her work, then we will feed you. You won't perish, you've had breakfast. I think I mentioned before that they eat with us. So Misty Moo, I call her Misty Moo. She's a big girl, my big kitty. She, um, She's got an alarm clock in her tummy like no other. Oh my goodness, that girl. Oh, what do I have on my... Ugh. I didn't need the glue. I just kind of wanted the pokey in there. There's something on my... Oh, look at what that is. Oh, yeah, it's moth season. We are getting little tiny moths, and one landed on my pad and drowned itself in ink. Naughty, naughty. You shouldn't have done that. All right, Fumble Fingers has arrived again. I keep telling her to go away. We're busy. We don't have time for fumbling today. Getting a shadow, it's driving me nuts. So I do need to find out a better, I mean, I have great light in here. It can be bright as day all the time, but the light comes in from my right, which causes a shadow when I move just right, so. You may not see it, but I do, and it's driving me crazy because it blocks my vision. I know, I gotta get one of those ring lights or something like that. But a lot of times that uh, lighting um, triggers migraines for me. So now you have a little pocket. I'm not gonna put that mushroom in there. I'm not, I'm not, that's not my thing. But anyway, something adorable like that can go in there. Okay, so now we have a pocket. Isn't that pretty? I loved cutting that scallop. And I think that uh, this was from Angela as well. It's one of her lace pieces that she has in her, uh, in her shop. She has an Etsy shop. And it's a, just under her name, Angela Kerr, as far as I know. Now we need a pocket on that side. I wonder if I have another, like, really pretty little um, piece I could use over there. I'm looking at my scraps. Uh, none of these are big enough. I guess I'll just use the one that I originally cut for that. Um, and I'm going to lift this one up again, too, because I like it, like, not right at the very bottom. I think it's kind of cool when it comes up a little bit. So we will. I am using the paper cutter today more than normal. I want these to look good. Um, I think I just made it longer. Let me double check. Yep, I did. Let me fix that. So what are you guys all up to lately? Are you making journals? Are you creating ephemera? What's happening with you guys? Hope you're all having a good time. 
I also hope you're enjoying the videos and hanging out in the studio with me. I love having you all here. Makes my whole day. And your comments are so fun. Oh my gosh, I got such a kick out of um, Lavender Blue Mama. I don't know your first name, hun. I wish I did. If you want to tell me, that's great. If not, that's okay. Not everybody wants to be known. Um, but yeah, her comment just cracked up my husband and I. We had such a great time with that. So, she's a lot of fun. Woke up, because it comes on at, um, I had it uh, set for 5 a.m. I don't think I went to sleep till 4, so. <laughs> I looked at the comments when I finally woke up about 9. <sighs> so, I'm a little on the tired side today. But, sometimes I do my best work when I'm tired. My brain isn't overthinking and pushing, you know, because it runs 100 miles an hour. I, I, my creativity never turns off, not even in my sleep. I actually dream in full color movies. Sometimes it can be disturbing if it's a bad dream. But it's never, you know, it's a nice quiet night for me. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to trim that just a hair on the edge wasn't as accurate as I would be like. There we go. Just a hint. I mean, it's like uh, so close, but you could still see the white, which I don't want. Did that glue? Yes, it did. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to have pockets on both sides. So when that hangs on your page, your your lovely little um, journal page, uh, you know, you're going to see this on both, <laughs> both sides. So as you flip your page, you know, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. Okay. So I think on this, I don't think it needs a lot. Um... This side, I might want to put a little butterfly because I just feel like it's cute and deserves a little something or other. What have I got? That would go with like what's here. And of course, it's the one that's not cut. Do I have one that's cut? Maybe this one? Actually, this has a different color to it altogether. It really does. Okay. Sorry, ladies. Guess what? We're fussy cutting. It shouldn't take too long. I don't know how many of you know the tip that when you're fussy cutting, keep your scissors still. Move your paper, not your scissors. I mean, you have to move them a little bit. You have to open and close them. But I see my scissors need some cleaning. They got goo on them because I'm always cutting my pearls and my other sticky stuff. Kind of mainly use these for that. I do have a pair that I only fussy cut with that are exactly like these. My mom had two pairs, so. Alrighty. I feel like she needs a little something behind her. Mm -mm, you know what I'm going to go get, right? Maybe. Maybe not. I like the butterflies to stand out a bit. Well, not that. That would not be good. I don't think pink is the right thing behind that. I think we might need a little little book page or a little something or other. I just cut a whole bunch of these the other day. Hmm. Yep. I don't know why I like these, but I just do. It's something I came up with, and it has become a signature for me, you know. I'm the only one who does it, as far as I know. If anybody else does it, it's a copy. Kind of unique to my work. I've never seen anyone else do it. I mean, we all layer, but this is a layer that I choose. See, it breaks up a little bit of that white. Put your butterfly on there. Pretty, pretty. Um. Unless it is hanging over a page and, you know, you are going to see it. You want it to be pretty. I have some pretties on it. 
I'm going to angle the wording a little bit. And this one, I'm not going to glue it down as hard. I'm going to just... it down a little bit. I'm not centering it on purpose. I want to make sure the wings come up. I like that 3D dimension look. And then I want a word, of course. Um, I think I'm going to use Miss Jolene's words. Oh, that's pretty. I might want something in pink, though. I don't know if I have any pre-cut. I may have to inspire no grow no vintage is pretty i think i want pink i don't think i want um because that's too too matchy matchy to that i think unless i put pink paper or something behind it imagine Hmm. Uh oh, I've got a hard spot in my scissors again. I must have a. Uh... Yeah, I got something sticky on here. Uh oh, hold on a minute. Won't let me cut. There we go. All right, need to move my bucket closer. I keep throwing trash all over my table. <laughs> no worries. I mean, I'll clean it up, but. I am realizing I don't, I don't have my little bag of tricks with me. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? All right, you know that. Need my bag because it has all of my little um, goodies. Oh, okay. Ooh, time's flying. I just looked at the clock. Oh no, I got to get a move on here. I may only get one done, but at least you'll know what I did. Sorry, I'm working off camera here. Um, remember I said I save all my little bits and pieces just for this to put behind my words. All right, maybe that. Let's try that. I have words everywhere. Oh my gosh, they've escaped the asylum. Get them back in the bag. All right. Let's see here. So this should be, this should air Friday, I'm hoping. And then next Monday's video should be our haul, our thrift store haul. Oh, we had such a fabulous time, my daughter and I. We always have such a good time together. We're, we're not just mother and daughter, we're best friends. We have so much fun together. More so now that, that she's <clears throat> all grown up, we are best buds. Um, we tell each other all kinds of things and just the way friends do and um, shop together and have lunch together and hang out and watch movies together. And honestly, at one point, she was one of my major caregivers. She stayed in the hospital with me when I had to do a number of long hospital stays. She was there with me. My husband hung out with the girls so he could have a break and while they when they weren't in school and then while they were he would sleep but i had some really long stays and she's always been there for me that girl i just i'm so blessed i love and adore her not just because she's my daughter but just the kind of human being she is she's kind and caring she runs and does everything for her friends and they're just so lucky to have her i'm telling you i'm sure none of them watch this but if they were i would be what did i do with my pretties Hmm. All right. Sparkly jewels, report to the table immediately. Sparkly jewels, where are you? Report to the table. Aha, there you are. I know you were trying not to get used. I see you. All right. Oh, whoops. Come on. My end, I think the end of my um glitter glue is a little. A little plugged up there. 
Well, that wasn't very straight. Now, these are not sticky like my pearls, not at all. So, um, you know, it's kind of a, get a wet one here, or a dry one, actually. I don't have a wet one on the table right now. All right, so we have that. Hmm. It's kind of blah. This isn't cutting it. I don't usually do this with my sparkly bits, my diamante, some people call it. I don't know why they call that. It means diamond, I think, in French or Italian or something. I don't know. I don't know why they call it that. I think it is another language that they named it after. I'm gonna say diamonds. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Don't you know it? <laughs> Alrighty, so. This one needs something. This one I would just like a word, like not um, a bunch, but a word. I don't think I have any of my long words here in my bag, but what I do have, which I will share with you, right next to me is my cart. And hung on my cart is this giant two inch or three inch um, binder ring. And then I have word strips. As you can see, I have all kinds of strips on words. Words on strip. Strips on word, no, words on strips. God, oh, jeez, I better get some sleep tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna start talking in some weird language. <laughs> so here they are. I can just flip them over. I can unhook them. I have like all kind. my daughter's made like tons and tons. So they each have their own little hanging thingy and they're on a little binder, another clip, uh, bulldog clip, I guess they call them. But what I'm looking for is, um, just unclip them, pick out my word. Delightfully hopeful. Delightfully hopeful. I love that. I think that's what's going to be on there. Alrighty. Uh, so now you've seen how I store those. They're right next to me at all times. So if I don't have any in the envelope I want, I can just go there. Or if I don't have my envelope, close by. Um, now what will happen with this, as you see, okay, now it's a lone one. It's too big for that. Uh, oops. Yeah. So it'll go there. This one's also by itself. So I will take the time to do that and that. And if you open your scissors all the way and cut down, you only need one cut, put it in the bag. So I'll have those for next time. And then um, I will just, oh, and that one's a loner too now. Hmm. All righty. So then I just put them back on their little clip and hang them up right next to me and we're good to go. So there we are. There's my little, and they're usually a lot more neat than that. My goodness, what did I do here? Uh, I've gotten it caught. There we go. There we are. That's how it should be. Okay, so anyway, I go back and clip it back on my cart because it's got little handles, and I clip it over the handles of the cart because they're small enough. Oh, I forgot one. Oh, they didn't want to go back there. Well, I'm so sorry, my little buddies, but you really need to be there. And of course, you know what? I put it on backwards. Oh, gosh, when I get done with this video, I'm going to have to fix that because I'll be looking for it later and go, why? <sighs> All right. I just knocked them all over the floor. Oh, goodness. All right. I'm just going to put these somewhere else. I'll deal with them later. <laughs> all that for a word, ladies. Oh, goodness. I tell you. But I do take the time to do this stuff as I'm going along, so I have them for the next time. It just saves me work later, you know? Anything I can do ahead? Lately, I have been. If I can cut extra goodies, if I can make extra circles or squares or butterflies, I do because then I can just zoom along and not have to stop. Kind of stash building, as I think I've said on a number of videos. I really am. I'm not even going to put anything behind that because I just like it all by itself. It's just pretty all by itself. Put a little squiggle on there. Because the lace is pretty. It doesn't need anything else. It's just pretty. And 
know what I got on her. Okay. I feel like this side now has to match that side, which means it's going to need a little bit of diamonds, a little bling. I think if you watch, oh gosh, either my first or second video, I talked about um, my business before, which was you know, dolls and crafting. I had a blog and it's called Buttons, Bows, and Bling, which really should have, would fit with this too, but I changed it. Um, for my paper and definitely I'm a bling girl uh buttons bows you know um girly for bows and buttons for sewing and bling for just the pretties that I love and I love all the bling in life so it's great all right so um it was a good name I just didn't didn't use it for this but I'm definitely a bling girl do I want anything on the inside I'm wondering if I have any flowers pre-cut that would go with this so I don't have to press a cut. Let me see. Let me see if I had something I could use. Yeah, just something, you know, simple would be pretty. I think that goes, I think it goes okay with what's there. The colors are good. The colors are good. I believe these are um, my porch prints. And I, you know, cut and put them in a box. Me and my boxes. Me and my storage units. I have a thing for storage containers. It's an addiction. I'm so sorry. Probably should go to some kind of group. <laughs> there really probably is one, you know? Crazy as that sounds, right? Um... Of course, you know, I don't want to leave it all by itself. It needs something. You know me, I got a layer. They don't call me the queen of layering for nothing. <laughs> I love that. Gail dubbed me queen of layering. <sighs> that sissy of mine. I adore her. Don't we all, right? She's just such a fabulous human being. Kind and warm and generous and helpful and just everything you'd want your friend to be. And then some. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay, that's perfect. I'll just leave that. That's something simple. We don't have to go crazy today, right? Because I'm going to run out of time. So... We will have got one done in an hour. I gotta stop chatting. This is crazy. So when I do turn off the camera, I will finish them all and then come back and show you on another video. You know, I always have things. That way I always have things to share with you, right? The things that I finish off camera, I can show you. You have an idea of how to make one though. Not a tutorial. Angela has one. So if you want to know like everything exactly, you can go watch. In fact, I think it was two videos ago she did it. So it was just last week, I think, or the week before. My version, her version, right? We each have a version. I think, I wonder if that's my, I um, wonder if I need to replace that. I, I try not to let them get shabby. I don't like that when mine get all yucky like that and they shed all over my project. I'll have to see about putting in a new one if that's what's causing this stuff on my... I need one more thing here. I think I could find a word real quick. So I ran out of time. Shine brightly. I like that. I think we'll put that on there. Got to have a little something-something on the inside, right? And I'll have to find in my stash of goodies something to put inside the pockets. I'm not going to make a bunch of tags and things. I do have a lot of fussy cuts to put in there from kits. All right. I know that kind of blends in, and normally I might have put something under that. I could pick it up. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. I'm just keeping it simple inside. 
I'm trying to make myself do it. So here we go. Isn't that pretty? Alrighty. Each one will be very different, I know, because, you know, it just comes out that way. Um, so these are the other three. I have about 10 minutes. I don't know if I can get any more done because this one part right here just takes so doggone long, right? But instead of doing those on camera, I, like I said, I'll, uh oh, I missed a piece of vellum. Here we go again. In my loop. I swear these things walk off the table when I'm not looking. Um, okay. They're going in that bowl up there so they don't disappear again. So that's today's project. This is a pretty pocket page flip. I don't know what to call it. Anyway, pretty pockets. So that's that. I could, let's see if I have anything in my little dishes that are big enough. It seems like I have some scraps here, but I don't know if anything would look. Oh, I do have a piece. This one's pretty. Could put that in there. But so anyway, this is how our pockets are going to work. You know, so I will find some bits and pieces to put in there. Um, I don't think I have anything big enough in these. Have that over here. I have stuff everywhere. What do I have over here? This is my porch prints. <sighs> hmm. I have some little postcards. That might be cute in there. I do have some little pretties I could probably put in there. But what I'll do is I'll go through there and see what I can come up with that I like that goes with that. That looks pretty. And, um, but you get the idea. So you can have pretties hanging on the page on both sides, and then you can have a bigger tag. I'll have to look at my, see if I have any, um, I don't think I have any tags in here. But, you know, you could put a bigger, a bigger card there, a journaling card, and then maybe another one, you know, down here. Uh, these are not the ones I'm going to leave in here, but I just really wanted to show you what, what you could do with it. Um, just to give you an idea. I'll come back and work on that later. I do have one, well, I have an ephemera um, folder I haven't showed you. Oh, goodness, here it is. Isn't she a big girl? Look at that. Oh, I actually use a little girl's headband to, to close that up because um, the string wasn't long enough anymore. <sighs> And it's not full. It's just what's in here. I mean, I these are my some of my favorite. These are all my pretty, what I call pretty pink pieces of um, ephemera and from kits. Oh, there's some of that vellum that I um, pulled out. I mean, not vellum from pa use use packaging. I that I um, keep over here so I don't lose it. And I'm still trying to lose it. Get in there. Come on now. And then, you know, the negatives that I can use. And so, little things I've cut out or I have extras of. I only have a few pages left, but this is flowers. These are all things that I use for my shabby work. And when I'm working on a journal, filling in my things. There's my tags. Okay, so I'm probably going to put some of those in there. Um... Maybe some of the, I don't know. I'm going to figure out what I want to put in there. Oh, there's more tags. Okay. So I do have quite a bit of things I can put inside those pockets. So you can look forward to seeing that next time. And, oh, gosh, this is a big girl. Whew. She's heavy, too. I mean, she barely fits in the little um, thing I had her in. And um, I get these headbands at Dollar Tree, and they're they're great for my books. I, I prefer, I think I'm going to take the strings off and just... Um, keep it with the with the headband and then when it starts to get stretched out oh, I'm actually just gonna leave that out for right now oh I don't even know where to put it it's so big <laughs> so hopefully in my next video I have a really fun um project I'm gonna be doing with y'all and this is gonna be using Jolene's kit her pretty her beautiful uh shabby pink doors shabby pink wel welcome I think it is or gosh why can't I remember the name Pink Shabby Welcome Kit from a Jewel Design. Go ahead and get that because I'm going to be working on this next week. Um, I'm going to be doing the video for it in the next day or so. Unless I decide to give it as a special on Sunday. Because I just am so excited. I want to show this. Um, 
or Monday and make the haul on Sunday. I could do that. I'm working on a wonderful little project that I've been stitching and sewing and gluing and cutting uh, with her pieces. So get that kit so you can make one with me. I'll tell you what you need. You need her kit. You need some envelopes. Um, you need one, let's see, how many envelopes do you need? You need one, two, three. Three envelopes or more, you could do more. And you need some cardstock probably to match, to put your things on and we will do this. I'm really excited so I wanna kinda talk about that. So run over and get that kit. We'll work on it on, um, Hmm. Send your money. It's coming very soon. So you got a few days to get your stuff together. It won't be out Friday because this is Friday's video. So get your stuff. Go over to Jolene and get the Pink Shabby Welcome Kit. Now she also has um, Pink Shabby Rose and another Pink Shabby. She's got a bunch of pink things. And they're all perfect for this. Um, they will, will, you could use, those are for that. You can use... Her other pink pieces from any of her pink shabby rose kit um, in, she's got all kinds of goodies in that kit, which I have it all cut out, as you can see, can be used with it. She's got lots of nice, pretty little ephemera. She's got tags. So she has tags. She has all kinds of things. So go over and get those. Those all go well together. And so you can make what I'm making or make a ver bigger version of it. You know, you'll have a lot of pieces to work with. So run over to her shop and get those. And she is a jewel design on Etsy. The link is on the video. You, you go down and it says my shop because she and I are in a shop together. I do the physical things. She does the digital. She may start doing a few physical things too, but go over there and then you can get her kit and we can work on this together. Um, in fact, I will be doing it this afternoon, filming it. So it'll be ready for you guys. But she does have, you know, kits with um, other goodies that you can get. So she has elements and things that you can use. So go look, have a really good look at those. Get yourself stocked up, especially if you're into shabby. If you're not, this is just a adorable summer kit. Even if you're not into shabby, this is just a darling, darling summer kit. I mean, spring, summer, it is. Look at these doors. They are so darn cute. I have one on each page. I'll tell you what we're going to do with those. Okay. She has a beautiful envelope. So um, I did print it on both sides, though, from her background paper. Um, and you can kind of get some of it, pre-cut your, uh, pre-cut all your ephemera and get yourself ready to go and, and we'll, we'll get busy together. So go get that. And I think that's about it, ladies. I think we've done a full hour. Thank you for hanging out with me and coming back to see what the cliffhanger was. <laughs> what butterflies would I choose? Well, I, I chose that those. <laughs> so I chose that wonderful little plate of butterflies by Angela. Her. And um, so anyway, I really appreciate you hanging out with me. And um, I will see you all very soon. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye. Have a fabulous evening.